with the summer driving season approaching, we'd better take a look at oil, 66 bucks a barrel this morning. The average price of gasoline as of right now, this is a national average, $3.04 a gallon, which is indeed a great deal higher than it was one year ago. And by the way, in terms of supply of gasoline, I have to tell you that in Washington, D.C., 73% of gas stations are still without fuel. An appropriate moment to bring in gas bodies, Patrick DeHaan, old friend of this program. All right, Patrick, are we going to see any kind of price increase or a spike in gas prices this summer? Oh, I think that's certainly a possibility, Stuart. I think what lies ahead, though, in the next week or two, as Americans get ready to hit the road for Memorial Day, expect a little bit of a price break. But as you say, I think it's going to be an unusual summer. We typically see the average peak sometime in late spring this year because of COVID and the overall recovery happening in the economy, we could actually see it in July or potentially August if there's any major hurricanes. It, there's no chance of going back to the $4 a gallon level that we saw, I think it was maybe eight, nine years ago in the middle of summer. It was $4.11 a gallon was the average price. Now, that was many, many years ago. No chance at all of going back to that level, Patrick? Well, never say never, Stuart, uh, but I don't think that is likely at all. It's probably less than 1%. So I think most Americans can be rest assured that we won't see record high prices this summer, of course, barring, you know, a, a drastic event out of left field. Okay. Can you tell me how about demand? Demand for gasoline. Is it back anywhere near where it was at the end of 2019? Well, Stuart, with all that's been going on with the Colonial Pipeline, some of these numbers are a bit fudged. We had been getting fairly close uh, to single percentage points under pre-COVID uh, late spring levels. Um, you know, I expect that we could get there close to norms that may not be all the time, but expect that gap to con uh, continue closing here in the last week, Stuart, last early, last Monday, last Tuesday, as the Colonial outage grew, we saw demand soar. But now here yesterday, demand plummeted about 23% from the prior week. A lot of that is happening simply because most Americans, at least in the Southeast, are sitting on a full tank. But as the summer progresses, keep in mind, a lot of Americans are landlocked. That is, foreign uh, travel is still difficult. I think we could see a pretty hot summer for gasoline demand, maybe not all of the time, and certainly contingent on COVID. But there's certainly the possibility that we could see a 10 million barrel a day figure for gasoline consumption, which would be a record at some point this summer. And which would put prices up from where they are now. All right, Patrick, thanks for joining us. See you again real soon. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks,